Hey, Tealtiers. How you guys doing? Today, we're going to talk about the best Linux distribution out there. Yep, that's what we're going to talk about. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Just want to take a minute to ask if you believe in what I'm doing and you like what this channel is about and you like the content that this channel has, why don't you pop on over to our Patreon page over at patreon.com, the Linux tube, and become a member there. The best Linux distribution out there. Is there really one distribution that's the best? Well, Depends on who you talk to. If you talk to certain people, they'll say yes. Other people will say it doesn't exist. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys have a look at some B-roll while I discuss what my point is. So, how do we know whether or not we found the best distribution? Now, that's kind of hard to do. And that's because when we're coming over, most of us, when we first come over to Linux, we want to find the best distribution for us. You know, in fact, there's people that probably Google that. I know that I've seen that question asked in many different forums. And while some people will always say, go with Mint, or go with Ubuntu, or go with Arch, or go with this, or go with that. There's always that preferential, what they believe to be the best Linux distribution for them. And the reality of it is, is that I've distro hopped a lot. If you are an enthusiast of Linux, I'm not speaking Greek to you at all, by any means. Guaranteed, you've distro hopped at least four or five times. Whether it was out of necessity or whether it was out of choice, well, that's strictly up to you. But you've tested a lot of different Linux distros. I've tested a lot of distro, different dist, distros. And honestly, I was never able to settle down on one. I came close quite a few times. One that I seem to be, keep gravitating back towards all the time is Arch Linux. I have used it for, well, I started off with Ubuntu. Then I went to, I, well, wait, wait, let's roll that back. In the very, very beginning, it was actually Fedora with KDE. Then I went to Ubuntu when Ubuntu came out with GNOME. I had issues with GNOME. Because coming from the KDE world, there was a lot more that I could customize there than initially you could with GNOME. But, however, uh, I still was not satisfied with KDE nor GNOME. So then I hopped on to upper, other different distributions as well that had different things, such as XFCE, LXQT, you know, all that. And then, of course, as... Ubuntu started growing in popularity with its Unity, GNOME with Unity, and uh, Linux Mint and other different uh, other uh, distributions started to come out. Well, you know, I tested those as well. I did not find one that I preferred to more than the other. Just did not happen. Now, I switched to Linux or to Arch Linux probably around four or five years ago. And I immediately fell in love with the flexibility of it in the sense that I could download whatever package I wanted, which was in, you know, the repo, the AUR was ginormous. And I had the ability to have become a seasoned veteran enough that I could actually customize it and do whatever it is that I wanted to do with Arch Linux in the way that I wanted to do with Arch Linux. And so I was able to make it look and feel like I did, like I wanted. Now, that to me is the unicorn of Linux. And that's the unicorn distro for sure. The one that you customize yourself for the way 
that you want it to look and feel is the best Linux distro out there. That's it. Short, simple, and sweet. That's the secret of all. Now, there are people out there that have a hard time because they're afraid to get into configuration files to customize it. If that's the case, as you see in the B-roll that's rolling through, I'm showing you some of the most beautiful, voted on, and pretty much so hands down commented on by other YouTubers as well of Linux distributions that are out there. Now, Pop the web page did not really show the cosmic desktop for what it is, but it's actually pretty beautiful. You can customize it a lot as well and make it into a tiling window manager as well. Um, all the other ones stand out. Garuda, Zero Linux, Endeavor. They're all beautiful, absolutely gorgeous ones. And so even so, those you download and you install them right out the box, they are still not the perfect Linux distribution because they're not set up for your likes they're close obviously it pulled you in because it was eye candy enough to make you say hey i want to download this and i want to use this and i want to make this my daily driver but however it doesn't quite fit the bill 100 percent because it was not created by you now if you really want to set it up and make it look and feel as if it is your own linux distribution then I strongly suggest that you simply learn to customize uh, through configuration files for different things. Uh, it's going to take some time. You're going to practice, and you're going to break, and then you're going to reinstall, then you're going to practice some more, then you're going to break, and then you're going to reinstall and rinse and repeat over and over and over again until you get it right. Also, there are plenty of other YouTubers out there like myself who do put out some tutorial videos on how to do what it is that you want. Do not be afraid to search on YouTube. Do not be afraid to search on Google. Take your time. Try to figure out what works best for you as to what you want to customize to. There are many bars out there that you guys can customize from Polybar to Bumblebee status bar, Lemon Bar. There's hundreds of those. Launchers, there's all kinds of stuff. There's so much that you can do with Linux. That is the glorious part about Linux is, is it is an operating system that is free, open, and 100% customizable by you. With GNOME, you have to install extensions and tweaks, GNOME tweaks in order to start doing that, but it is still customizable. You can't get that out of Mac, and you darn sure can't get that out of Apple, or I mean, out of uh, Microsoft. So, my words and my thoughts are, does the unicorn distribution of Linux exist? And it does. It's the one that you make for yourself. So remember, guys, you guys keep doing what you do and keep on Linuxing and have a great day.